Okay. The first works that I did on oils, I did some figurative, and I did also some landscape yeah. at the same time as, as doing some abstraction. The funny thing is, after that first period on oil, uh, I found a book called Dictionary of Abstract Art. It was a little pocket book with, with pictures, and it just basically A to Z abstract art painters. And that really fascinated me. And I was just like Rothko, Clifford Still, uh, people like that. Um, uh, you know, Mondrian, people like that. I was just so captivated by it that that's when I then leaned towards abstraction. And also when I discovered in the movie An Unmarried Woman uh, from the 70s, um, they had one of the characters that the unmarried woman was going to marry was an uh, abstract painter who used pouring techniques similar to Morris Lewis. They, they based it on Morris Lewis, the Washington painter from the 50s to the 60s, and who did, um, who did uh, poured paintings, very large poured paintings, like 10 by 12 feet, stuff like that. And they, they used his method. When I saw that method, I was just, again, I was just like, this I have to try. So that was really the start of pouring. That's when I really wanted to do pouring. But I've also been attracted to geometric abstraction. So I was right away very interested in geometric abstraction. Later on, through the influences, much later on, through the influences of people like uh, Gerhard Richter, I wanted to try the scraping, and that's been very fruitful. And also um, people like uh, 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 Bure, uh, the Italian painter who would attach sacks to canvases. Old, you know, was during wartime in Italy, and he would he would uh, they had a lot of like uh, potato sacks stuff. And later in his career, plastic they would attach to canvases and paint over that, or even burn it and stuff like that. So that's where the material on uh, material attached works came from.